entertainment stories from last week. Here we go! K-pop group 17 is rising. While Times included 17's track Semicolon and Home Run as the songs that defined K-pop in 2020, here came another good news. The members of the group got invited to the American talk show, The Late Late Show with James Corden. Many K-pop artists like BTS, Blackpink and NCT 127 have already made an appearance, and now it's 17's turn. Their late night talk show will be aired next year in January on CBS. Impossible is becoming possible thanks to AI development. And Net's TV program Once More Time is resurrecting some deceased artists like Shin Eto, Kim Gwang Sok, and Kim Hyun Sik through AI voice covers and holograms. K pop artists like BTS will be joining the virtual stage of Shin Eto for a collaboration. Although this AI concert will touch on a lot of people's hearts by bringing back past memories, there are debates going on regarding moral and ethical issues. A promise of the late comedian Park Ju Sun was kept by actor Seo Gang Jun on the first day of snow. Back in October, Park hosted Seo's online fan meeting TikTok stage One Cozy Night and asked Seo to upload a selfie on a day when the first snow of the season falls. Seo replied, I really promise. Then on December 13th, when the first snow fell, Seo kept his promise by uploading a selfie on his SNS with an emoji of pinky promise. The guess which entertainment agency sold the most K-pop albums this year? SM, JYP, Big Hit, YG. The victory goes to Big Hit Entertainment. With BTS' strong global influence, Big Hit sold over 10 million albums, followed by SM's 8.1 million albums. Especially with the global popularity of K-pop artists Big Hit's BTS and YG's Blackpink, Korea's overseas shipments of albums this year increased 95% compared to last year when Japan took the number one exports and the US took the second. The sad news for Blackpink's fans. The long away to Blackpink's online concert, the show, is being postponed. The members announced it on December 17th, explaining that such a decision had to be made to follow the current COVID-19 prevention guidelines. The online concert, which was originally slated for December 27th, will be postponed to January 31st. So guys, that was all the buzzers for this week and I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to Korea Now. Bye!